We are live here at Pac-12 Media Day, but we are not talking about the demise of the Pac-12. We are talking about the demise of the IARP, which may be the biggest waste of time Ever. in the history of the NCAA. The rulings finally came down today. Kansas got uh, the official um, the official rulings They here. got nothing. I mean, and we, basically listen, it's nothing. All you I need would... to know is they didn't get a postseason ban. Bill Self went from being charged with five level ones Yep. To ultimately being charged with one level three. Yeah. So here, uh, the, no added, no added suspension for Bill Self or Curtis Townsend. They'd already taken four game suspensions. Mm -hmm. Self imposed last year. They took self imposed recruiting restrictions. So it is done for Kansas. And man, this this all is what this the final shit needs to be done. This is all what, of it. This what is what the final left. This is what the final ruling was for yeah. Kansas. They yeah. get a three year probation. Yeah. No effect on the program's yeah. postseason status. Yeah. Self yeah. was charged with five level one violations and was uh, self suspended yeah. for four games. Now only has the level three violation. Yeah. Curtis Townsend uh, was suspended for four games last year and had his charges reduced from level one to a level two and a level three violation. No additional penalties, no show cause order, no nothing, and it's over with. It's yeah. done. I mean, listen, this shit started uh, 2,206 days ago mm -hmm. when all these guys were arrested. Uh, not, not Kansas, but. Uh, you know, obviously a bunch of assistant coaches, Burke Richardson, Tony Bland, uh, a bunch of other guys, Jim Gavaditis. And uh, it, it's been honestly a shit show. The amount of money wasted on this, it's been, I would love it's been to know. It's been such a complete waste of time. Oh, and mess. I'll tell you what, and a we can mess. talk about what it means for Kansas and the NCAA in a minute. You know Nothing. who You know who? Who should be pissed off right now? Who is but right getting pissed off after. right Mike now? Point. I know, Mike Point. But let, let's focus on here. The, the, the here and now is that Kansas is now, I mean, they won a national title under this cloud. Think of what they could do when they get mm -hmm. out of this cloud now. Like has it, it has not hurt anybody because, again, we all forgot about it. We wanted it to be over. Nobody really gave a shit at the end other than the people that were reporting at the beginning that there were going to be 40 or 50 head coaches that were going to be fired. As it turns out, they were like, who? Rick Pitino, Sean Miller, kind of. Will Wade. Well, all, all the stuff that was violations then aren't illegal anymore. But that this doesn't whole thing matter. started that, with like Adidas and Brian I, Bowen, and now you have yeah, I know. college athletes that are signing Obviously, endorsement deals with these shoe companies. The, the bottom line is that, again, this just shows how mismanaged the NCAA has been, mm -hmm. right? First of all, to take this long to get here, to get to nothing. I mean, it took this long to get to nothing for all these schools. So, Ultimately, again, and, and remember, Kansas was the one who, who fought the NCAA for a while, and now they end up winning. And, again, listen, I'm just glad all of this is over. I just want the Will Wade one to be over because, again, nobody really gives a shit anymore. I mean, this, this should be over and done and move forward because, like you said, yes, under the new landscape, I mean, you know, we're talking to kids here at the Pac-12 Media Day today that are probably making more money than you are, mm -hmm. you know, so, like, these rules are antiquated, obviously. I understand they took place in an era in which they weren't uh, legal. But ultimately, all these other schools got cleared, other than Oklahoma State, who got a postseason ban. But everybody else got uh, under it, you know, and, and really the only thing that matters is a postseason ban. All the other stuff is fairly irrelevant, right? Mm -hmm. You can recruit. Bill Self didn't go out for a whole summer. Didn't go out from the day they won the national title game. He didn't go out and recruit. They're just here's, fine. Here's, here's the wildest part about it, right? You you talk about the cloud that Kansas has been under yeah. since this started. Like, what What's impact cloud? has it had? Zero. 2018. Zero. The, Zero. So all of this stuff happened in yeah. September of 2017, yeah. heading into the 2017-2018 yeah. season. 2018, Kansas made it to the Final Four. Yeah. 2020, Kansas would have been the favorite to win the national title had the NCAA tournament happened. It was Udoka Azubuki, Devon Dotson. They had the yeah. best team in college basketball. They were the national title favorite. 2022. Kansas wins the national title. 2023, they head into the season as the preseason number one team in all of college basketball. And and the, the thing that, that drives me crazy with all of this is we've spent six years talking about how the FBI has the NCAA's playbook for all these cheating coaches, which is just, one, ridiculous, and two, the amount of wasted money and wasted resources and wasted time and wasted energy by the – Fucking FBI. 
I know. This is the best thing that they got to do is to worry about college basketball operating in its own little ecosystem and trying to make it into federal crimes. You ruined people's lives. Look at the team. You blew up people's lives. Look at where Book Richardson is right now. Look at what happened to Jim Gallo. Those are the ones, yes. Those are the ones you feel for. Uh, Again, you know, the the coaches that are still employed, the head coaches, and, and, you know, we've talked about this ad nauseum, obviously. Those, uh, a lot of black assistant coaches, mm-hmm. all black assistant coaches, the ones those are the, the ones fall? that lost their careers, right? Those are the ones that weren't making millions of dollars and they've lost their careers and they can't get back in right now. I saw Tony Bland and Book Richardson this past summer. They're trying to get back in. Maybe now they'll be able to. I, I don't know. They should more, be able to. It's not to. just losing your they career. They got to show causes, though. Like, think, think about what? has got to show cause. Yeah, he's got to show cause. He can't be a right. coach right now. Yeah, right. And, by That's the way, bullshit. he's That's got a bullshit. felony hanging over his head. That's the stuff that needs to change now. Mm-hmm. With all these schools that got cleared, right, the Auburns, um, you know, Arizona, they're all done. Kansas, all the NC State, they're all done. Like, let's wipe the slate clean. Of, of the Book Richardsons and the Tony Blanks Part of them. and the Lamont Evans. And this isn't just a, and it's not just an NCAA. Like that's what it keeps going to. It's not just an issue with the NCAA. Like yes, it'd be great if we can get Book Richardson. They, and Tony they hit Blaine him with the show causes, and all, and all of these guys get them back into coaching, get them back making money, get them back making right. a living, get them back doing what they love. They also deserve an apology from the fucking federal government. Yeah. They yeah. do. Because the fact yeah. that this is a, yeah. that, that, that this you have the, those guys yeah. hanging with Awful. A, the, yeah. that charge over their head yeah. when the yeah. way that the power structure works when you're in the coaching industry is the head coach puts everything on the assistants. The assistants got to do these jobs. We talked about how hard it is yeah. for black assistant coaches to get head coaching jobs. It just it, it, it fires me up. And I'll tell you what, the what Mike Boynton is, the, the way that yeah. he's feeling right now, yeah. he was just bullshit. texting me and I'm not going to. Yeah, it's bullshit. Talk about what he's no, saying. No, it's but complete bullshit. Yeah. Like, he's the only one who got hit. Oklahoma State is the only, the only school ones. because they didn't go through this IARP or whatever the hell it's called, which is now, by the way, gone mm-hmm. because it was that shitty. I remember talking to the woman who ran it a couple of years ago when they started it. Then it was like, oh, yeah, we're going to be independent, this and that. And I'm like, yeah, I have zero faith in this. Zero faith in anything investigative done by the NCAA or with the NCAA or side by side with the NCAA. Uh, you know, unfortunately, Charlie Baker, I think, is a good man, and he's going to try to fix this. It, it's too late. It's too late. There's I mean, you got to start. You, you probably just honestly at this point, just no moss, throw in the towel and just say, you know mm-hmm. what? We're done with the policing at this point. Let people, kids are getting paid anyway. Just let it let Whatever. it be a free for all. Because, yes. again, it is pay for play. I was talking to one coach here. You know, an hour ago at the Pac-12. What did Coach Kidd tell us a month ago? Right. The it's whole pay thing. for play. It's pay it's for play. pay for play. Whatever you want to try to say it is, that's a, a load of crap. It's pay for play right now. You're paying freshmen that have never paid, a, never played a college game. They're coming in getting paid legitimate money. You don't think Cooper Flag is going to come in, uh, whether it's Duke or <laughs> UConn next year. You don't think he's going to come in with a deal already making a million dollars? Of course uh, he is. If if he goes to Duke, yeah. Either one. <laughs> UConn's going to find a way. They're going to they're going to ask you to you know maybe give a few of your your, is that your why, dollars. Is that why that you lost at the blackjack well, table? Yeah, I you know. I can't. I can't. I could have donated to right. the Cooper Flag Fund, exactly. but not anymore. You that's why. That's what happened when Danny Hurley got his new contract. <laughs> that's why they're paying him five yeah, and a half yeah, million a year. Some of it goes to the like Cooper yeah, you know what? Some fund. of that's got to go to the Cooper Flag I know, Fund. I know. We're kidding. We're kidding. We kidding. We're kidding. Um, but, no, the, the yeah. I, I just I want to circle back to the to the Oklahoma State thing because I remember when it happened. What everybody said was if Oklahoma State, for what they did, is getting a postseason ban, what do you think is going to happen to everybody else? And look at what's happened to everybody That's else. That's the Nothing. crazy and, part. And, You're and right. I'm, it started and everybody's like, oh, my. We, we did. There were a few, uh, a few of us reporters. We actually, about five years ago, uh, predicted what the penalties were going to be. Mm-hmm. I mean, we, we got him so far off. <laughs> I mean, we were like, Bill Self was going to get, you know, 10, 15 games, most of them, 15 games, postseason ban maybe for some. I remember when Nobody they came out and they said it was five-level one violations. We were like, this might be the end the of the amount of, program. It I mean, the amount of happen. talk, like we're doing it now, and I want to be done with it. I don't even want to deal with it because, again, it, it was just a waste of so much time for so many people for absolutely no impact at the and end of the day. It fucked over a lot of people. Yeah, that's it. It fucked over that's a it. lot of people. Yeah. I just I want to be clear about this, okay? We talk about this all the time. I'm going to make this point over and over and over and over and over again. The way that this entire thing happened, the way that this entire investigation started, 
was there was a guy that was a financial yeah. advisor yeah. In, Marty Blazer. in Pittsburgh, yeah. Marty Blazer. And what he was doing was he was taking money from his clients without their permission, right. embezzling it, and then investing it in movies. He spent $2.5 million in stolen money on a movie with Misha Barton, yeah. Devin Sawa, and Michael Clark Duncan. That was one of the lowest rated movies that you will find. You probably loved on, it. I, I watched the trailer. Yeah, I'm sure you I tried I'm to sure find the actual did. movie. I wanted to see how bad yeah. it was. It's, it has like a 2.2 rating on Rotten Tomatoes. It's like one of the worst movies ever. So he embezzled all this money, stole all this money, got caught yeah. by the SEC and said, I can give you, I'm going to roll. I can give you college basketball. Yeah. I'm going to give you all of this cheating that is going on. Yep. So what they did was they gave a bunch of money to Christian Dawkins, who's some young up and coming kid. And he starts throwing money around all over the place. And uh, what eventually happened is like the money just, it, 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 it does what it does in college basketball. Right. It goes into coaches hands. It goes into players hands. You can do all this other stuff. And they created this, this scenario where the schools were technically the victims yeah. of a crime where these players are getting put in because by give, by by paying them, you are fraudulently saying that they are eligible to play basketball. So when they get scholarship money, Pell Grant money, yeah. money coming in from the federal government, yeah. that they are fraudulently accepting it. And that's how they got these coaches on wire fraud, fraud charges. They're just operating in the natural ecosystem that is college basketball in 2017, in 2019, in 2023. Yeah, I mean, shit, dating all the way back to John Wooden's days. Yeah, Are we yeah. going to sit here and try to pretend that Bill Walton right, didn't get paid right, going? Here's what I'm doing. Last thing I want to say. No, like, it, let, me, let me finish right. the point. Is that the only guy in here that was actually a criminal yeah, yeah. was Marty Blaze. Okay. And he rolled. Nobody here's got in trouble. He didn't get in any trouble. Hey. The people that got in trouble were the assistant coaches. Here's what I'm doing. Box. Here's what I'm doing on this. I'm closing the book. I didn't like that. That was, I'm a, closing bad, that the was book. a bad bit. I'm done. That was, that was a bad We're bit. We're closing the book. That We're was a done. Bad bit. Kansas escapes with absolutely nothing. Um, you know, again, 2,200 days after, uh, all hell broke loose. And, uh, and, you know, the FBI claimed they had some playbook. Man, they got the wrong playbook.